I remember my five-year-old self, sitting on the couch in my family room, watching the TV show Cake Boss with my grandma. Every cake they made astounded me, and I always wanted to be as good as they were. I love their ability to create something amazing from scratch. If you were to look at my camera roll, you'd see tons of screenshots of elaborate cakes. Even with my grandma's early influence with cakes and baking, it took much more than watching a show to get me started. I always wanted a passion because I loved the idea of being good at something. However, when I was in seventh grade, I was generally lazy. I wanted to be athletic, like my twin brother. So I was hard on myself. People would often compare us so much that they'd sometimes forget we're two completely different people. These comparisons only reminded me that I didn't have the athletic capabilities my brother possessed. This caused undue stress, and I felt hopeless. But I knew I had it in me to create something special. I just had to find what it was. Bored one day, I was scrolling through Instagram, and I saw a juicy pineapple video. As it started playing, I realized it was actually a cake. I never realized a cake could be something other than some buttercream and sprinkles, so I instantly gained interest. I began ordering cake pans and thought, I bake cookies with my grandma all the time. This should be a piece of cake. However, as I started baking, I realized making cakes is not as easy as it looks. I burnt cakes, overcooked cakes, overfilled cakes, broke cakes, and more for about a month. With each failure, I contemplated quitting because I thought, just like sports, cakes weren't my calling. But something urged me to continue making cakes. After about two months, I made my first successful tiny yellow blue dyed vanilla cake. It was not nearly as good as the pineapple cake I saw on Instagram, but I was so proud. I took a photo with my phone and posted it to Instagram. It was my first post to break 100 likes. My mom then insisted I serve it at our holiday party that night. Right then, I was hooked on making cakes. I felt like no one was comparing me to anyone else, that I made something in my own right, and my confidence whipped up inside me. At school, kids came up to me saying, Jack, that cake was so cool. Can I get one for my birthday? I was so happy they loved them as much as I did, so I continued baking and posting them. I thought it was so cool that I finally found my passion and how it would be so easy to manage. Boy, was I wrong. After a couple months of posting the cakes in their time lapses, I soon chose the name Jacked Up Cakes, as suggested by a family friend. My dad, who became interested in my work, took the cake photos and made the time lapses. He went away on a work trip, and I was unsure who was going to edit the video. He insisted I try. Long story short, I edited the video and posted it to Instagram. It was my first post to break 10,000 views. I was shocked. From that point on, I didn't need my dad's help editing cake videos. I was making more than cakes, all by myself. When I first started making cakes, it was a smooth procedure, and as relaxing as cake time lapse seemed. However, as I started to establish a theme, balance became a real issue. I remember sitting in English class, opening my phone, and seeing that I had hit 10,000 followers. It was the icing on the cake, but this shiny and simple passion soon began to take up more and more time. What once was a piece of cake was no longer a piece of cake. I went from getting little to no homework in middle school to getting a tremendous amount every day. It was so important that I make cakes because it was a way for me to escape stress and make something I was proud of. It removed me from my thoughts because being able to work in my own space was genuinely relaxing. However, finishing homework and studying for tests and quizzes was now added to my already long schedule for cakes and baking. This caused me to crack like an egg. I wasn't ready for the high demand of make this, make that, as I started to gain followers. Making cakes no longer felt good. There's so much that goes into making cakes that is behind the scenes. For, for example, I start my Friday or Saturday night off baking cake layers. I make everything from scratch, so everything must be precise. I make sure the ingredients are at the right temperature. I slowly sift the dry ingredients so the cake is smooth rather than lumpy, and other tedious tasks. All this encompasses just for the cake. I then have to check the cakes every five minutes once their initial baking time is complete. The next day, I, be I begin preparing the buttercream frosting. I have to make sure the meringue doesn't break, that the ingredients are at the proper temperature, that the heat isn't too high, and more. I then move on to assembling. My dad typically spends around 30 minutes to an hour just rearranging our kitchen and setting up all the equipment. I then gather memory cards and make sure I have all the proper utensils and ingredients to decorate. All this is necessary before assembling. If making cakes isn't perfect enough, the editing portion for the Instagram and YouTube postings really takes the cake. I love graphic design. I try to incorporate it in my videos and spend most of my time customizing text. When uploading to YouTube, I add a caption, a tweet for Twitter, tags for the video, and a thumbnail I've created. Occasionally, I'll stay up till 5 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday night trying to fit eight hours of baking into a single one-minute video. 
As you can see, creating and posting one cake takes hours, and it's not just a one-sided photo of a delicious-looking pretty cake. People are so quick to comment, it's been a week, where's your next cake? Having no idea of the entirety of the process and the amount of effort I pour into each and every photo and video they see. Many people tell me they wish they could do what I do, or at least had a passion that inspired them to create something amazing. I completely understand, because I used to be the same way. But every time I hear that, I think, be careful what you wish for. Because two years and 11,000 followers later, my passion no longer relieves my stress. It adds to it. For example, one Sunday, I decided to make a cake I've always wanted to make. A mint chocolate chip ice cream drip cake. Big name, I know. It has what looks like ice cream dripping down the sides of a mint chocolate chip ice cake. After layering, I took a break, checked my phone, and began worrying about all the studying and homework I had to do. I remember my dad getting upset with me, saying, Jack, you need to finish the cake and get done with homework. I don't want you up until midnight tonight. I went to the bathroom, stared at the wall, tears rushing down my face. It was then that I truly realized what once was a coping mechanism and a creative outlet was now a burden. How was I supposed to balance my teenage life in cakes? I felt like my whole life was a mess and wanted to take a break. It's hard to say that making cakes isn't as fun as it used to be because of all the pressure. Once you let the world into your passion, you open yourself up to comments and sometimes unsolicited feedback, like this is bad, gross, ugly, why would you make that? I don't have a solution to end stress, but I've decided what I want to spend my energy on is creating a balanced life for myself. If you don't take time to balance a cake, it'll topple. Creating a uniform life also takes time, but we all should shoot for a balance. Rather than focusing on one thing, why not focus on obtaining a balance? Too much of anything is bad. I know that too much of obsessing over Instagram likes is absurd, and that it's okay to take time off from this imaginary world called social media. I know that I don't have, I know that I don't have to make cakes every weekend. I wish I could, but I know that when I learn to balance, it'll be a piece of cake. I'm striving to achieve this, and believe we all should too. My obsession with trying to find a passion made me realize that passions are not all they're hyped up to be. They are not stress and problem free. I want to continue making cakes while create a life for myself that is calmer and more manageable. All recipes are different. Some people want more of one thing, whereas others may want less. Discover your recipe of balance, and if it doesn't work the first time, try another. It may take time. The recipe I'm trying takes a spoonful of hanging out with friends, a tablespoon of creating a schedule ahead of time, a cup of spending time with family, and a sprinkle of, jo a sprinkle of joy to fulfill a balance of school, cake stress, and to make something really, really special. No recipe is perfect, but I'm working to create one that best fits me. Now design your own recipe for balance. Measure well, and make sure it fits your life. If not, add a dash more of what you're missing to create the perfect blend. Thank you. Mm -hmm.